Hey guys, what's up? This is my weekly running vlog. I'm currently training for two half marathons back to back. The Great North Run and the Great East Run. So let's get stuck in. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 40 Runs. If this is your first time at 40 Runs, make sure you smash that pink button that says subscribe on it. That way you'll start to date with all our latest running videos. Get over to our Facebook page and join our Facebook running community and check out the links below to the 40 Runs store to get your marathon training top. Uh, this week's all about the Great North Run because we've got the Great North Run coming up and then we've got the Great East Run. But this week we're focusing on the Great North Run. But before we get stuck into that, let's catch up with last week on that run I was doing on Sunday. So let's get stuck in. So I promise you I'll bring you back to uh, where I left you last week. So I'm here in London, I'm at Tower Bridge, Tower Hill. I don't know if you can see that in the background. We've got the uh, thingy down there, the mayor's office and all that down there. I'm about to start a, well I've got to run for 60 minutes to film this run around London. So I'm going to make my way over the Tower Bridge, uh, down the, uh, the other side, up to Westminster Bridge, past the London Eye uh, and all that, up to Buckingham Palace, pop me and have a cup of tea with Lizzie and then make my way up to Trafalgar Square. So stick with me, uh, I'll show you bits of the run as we get going, um, and I'll catch you at the end. Shower and shave and ready for the rest of the day. That was a cool run, 10 kilometers. I did six minutes per kilometer, so I was bang on pace for the 60 minutes, which was awesome. It was a wicked morning, as you saw, it was nice and sunny. It was lovely running around London that time of the morning. But that's it, so let's get stuck into the rest of the week. So guys, I really enjoyed that. That was cool running around London. It was wicked. Uh, it was a beautiful day as well. It was an early start, but it was worth it. The uh, those videos are now up on the channel. If you want to do like a, a, a treadmill run or something like that, we've now got the uh, virtual runs out on the uh, 40 runs channel. So check them out. There's like a 60 minute one, which is the London one. And we've got like a 45 minute one. And then there'll be a half hour one as well going up. Uh, it's just something different. So if you're hitting the, the old treadmill and you want to run to something, you can put that up on the old YouTube now. Right, so this is this week. We've got one week to go to the Great North Run. Uh, it's always a busy week before a big run for me. Uh, not just with like filming and editing and stuff, but also like getting stuff together, getting organised now. Especially the Great North Run going up to Newcastle is always a tough one. Um, so, what we're going to do today, I'm just doing bits of bobs. And then on Tuesday, I plan on getting on uh, and doing a like a 6k or 5k run. Uh, so let's catch up with that first. Done. six kilometers 521 we're fast at the start with the first 3k pretty quick and then back to off right out of it especially the last kilometer i did that really slow but that's it done i'm gonna go get some breakfast all right guys so that was nice and easy uh i'm gonna do another one of them on thursday um just to give you an update on my injury slash niggle it's still giving me a bit of chip i could feel it in particularly after sunday's 10 k um i was running for 60 minutes as you know I could just feel it niggling. Um, I, so I don't think it's an injury, so to speak. It's just this kind of discomfort I've got. I'm um, not too sure how we're going to get on the Great North Run. I may have to sort of revisit my goals um, and reevaluate. I've got this 153 time I've got to beat. Um, and then with running the week after, I'm not so sure whether that's going to be a good idea, especially with the Oxford Half and the, the Royal Park back to back as well in October. So I don't know. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, I might have to reevaluate all that. But anyway, I'm going to take myself along to Michael at Shaw Physio again. He's going to give me a good pacing, I'm guessing. Uh, so let's catch up with that, and I'll see you after. 
Hey guys, so I just visited Michael over at Short Physio. Like I said last week, if you need a physio and you're in the Hertfordshire Essex area, make sure you check out Short Physio. I'll put the links below like I did last week. Uh, gave me a proper pasting, uh, hurt like hell. Uh, worked on like a small area like this on my hamstring. I don't exactly know what it's called, but oh my God, it hurt. But um, anyway, last week was I got some good results after seeing him. So fingers crossed it works the same. And now we're uh, looking forward to the Great North Run. So first day, I'm going to go and knock out another 6k, like I said, I'm going to do it real easy pace again. Uh, nothing special, nothing mad, just going to do a nice gentle run. Um, so let's get stuck in with that. It's me young guys, 5.43 kilometers. Really slow pace, which is good. Uh, mainly because I was filming and stuff, but I wanted to do a slow run. So that's the last one done. I did it in about six minute kilometers, which is perfect. So that's it, last one done. So guys, all that's left to do now is to get packed up really. Uh, last run is done. Um, and that's me, no more running out to the Great North Run. So I'd say, I just gotta get packed up. It's always a bit of a mission. Uh, getting up to somewhere and doing one of these runs. I've got so much stuff to take. Like I said, I've got all the camera equipment, all my running stuff, and I've got to pack it small as well because my brother carries all my bags for me when we go up to these places. I don't have to mess around with bag drops and stuff like that. Um, if you've not seen my video, check it out on what you should be taking to the Great North Run. It's a cool video. I did one for the uh, London Marathon as well, so there's some cool ideas in there if you're not yet packed for that. But hopefully you have packed, because this video is coming out Saturday and you've, hopefully you've packed already for the Great North Run. But if you've not, checked that video out. But so I'm gonna chuck everything in my bag um, and then we go from there. So guys, all that's left to do is go up to Newcastle, so I'm going to catch you guys next week. Don't forget on Monday we're going to be posting the Great North Run film, actually it might be Tuesday but probably Monday. Uh, Wednesday there'll be a video like normal, don't forget to check out the videos below, go over to our Facebook page and join our Facebook running group, subscribe if you've not done that already and check these videos out as well, they're pretty cool. But that's it from me and I'll catch you guys next week.